You were recently named one of the top 50 movie producers of all time. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Look, it was it was terrific. It was um, done on a particular calculation of how many Oscar nominations you had had and what the box office of your film was. So I guess if you look at it in that way, um, then m maybe maybe I qualify. Um, uh, but it was a surprise. It was um, it was very nice to read that. You know that I have this strange, unique record. Any time that I have been nominated for a Best Picture Oscar, the leading lady has not only been nominated, but has won the Oscar. Gwyneth Beltrow, Kate Winslet, Jennifer Lawrence. I started off to work with filmmakers, and I went to work for Marty Scorsese. It's like I went to the most exclusive film school ever, which was the School of Scorsese. Working with Media Society has been very interesting because of the structure that Wade has set up. Honesty and directness in a financier uh, uh, is just, it's paramount. Um, you want somebody that's going to tell you directly and honestly what they are willing to do and what they expect. Wade's a kind of genius. I don't know how he made Media Society work but he has done. It's been a fantastic experience because he and Helen are really just wonderful, solid, salt of the earth people who are immensely supportive of both me as producer and Adriana as uh, writer-director. I have a very solid working relationship with them now. There is a tremendous amount of trust on all parts and uh, they are, um, so enthusiastic in their backing of what I do uh, that I would love to make another picture with them. And the Tony Award for Best Musical goes to Memphis. It was one of those nights. I mean, it was just the <laughs> euphoria of everybody who it, was involved with that production that night was like we were we were pretty high it was great to be walking around the tony party <laughs> with our little tony first state's going to get produced everywhere it's going to be done all over the world russia china and china and japan we knew that it was going to have a huge life beyond broadway r h is one of the three major musical licensing houses. The head of r h came up to me at the end of the show and he said, wow. He saw it as a, as a major, major revenue and the advance that they paid was um, significantly reflective of that. Uh, higher advance than we got on Memphis, which ran for three years, recouped Tony. all its money and won the Tony. You want to make sure that you're working with the folks that you really feel like you all together, collectively, can make a good show. Helen and Wade are terrific, and their enthusiasm for it is sort of boundless. They're very thorough, very thorough, and very responsible to, to, to their investors. So much of what uh, this business is, it's still people. So those relationships and the more you know people and know how to work with them and trust them and trust each other, uh, it's really ultimately how you can get the best work done. I think the, that's indicative of, I think, how uh, Wade and Helen do business is that they also surround themselves with very good people and bring in great people uh, who are committed to the projects.